With Mario Kart 8 not launching till late April, and no F-Zero in sight, early Nintendo Switch adopters don't have a lot of options where races are concerned. However, hop on over to the eShop and you will find Fast RMX. This game pits 10 super-fast anti-gravity vehicles against one another in a variety of futuristic tracks. You gather orbs to boost, try not to fall off the track, and get mad speed from coloured pads. Where it differs from the normal futuristic racer is the phase mechanic. By tapping X, you can change phase, which basically translates to changing the colour of your vehicle. Match the colour of your vehicle with a boost pad and you'll get a boost. It's an interesting concept, though one we've seen before, and the game could have survived just as easily without it. While the basic idea is fine, Fast RMX doesn't really do much with it. The major thrill we got was when phasing between three boost pads placed closely together. The game offers three different modes to work your way through. Championship, multiplayer, and an F-Zero style hero mode. The first two are pretty standard, but hero mode shines. Your boost is shared with your shield, so there's this push and pull dynamic between surviving and winning, meaning only the most strategic racer will finish in first. And with death staring you in the face, it becomes a much more engaging experience. Where Fast RMX really stands out though, is in the visual department, particularly when docked and up on the big screen. The vehicles are shiny and well designed, and each track has a unique aesthetic, all without a single dropped frame in sight. There's a tangible sense of speed to Fast RMX, which, given its title, is pretty vital. Each vehicle has their own strengths and weaknesses as well, and these really do make an impact on the way you drive around the tracks. Whether you want to play it safe with a balanced racer, or rely on one with loads of boost, it's the testing process which turned out to be really fun for us. It all handles really well too, provided you keep the motion controls off. We found that control scheme a bit rubbish, with both the Pro Controller and the Joy-Cons under-delivering. There's also no reward for getting massive amounts of air, you can't perform a trick or a barrel roll to get boosts when landing, which is not a deal breaker, but when you're used to games like Mario Kart or Wipeout, you kind of feel its absence. Still, Fast RMX is a very solid arcade racer, with a good sense of speed, excellent visuals, and an interesting phase mechanic to keep things mixed up. It's not a flawless experience, and it is a little bit basic here and there, but given it's the Switch's first proper racer, and it's only £16.99, we reckon Fast RMX is a bargain for those of you wanting to get your race on.